Jerome, are you there now? Yeah, it is Jerome. Jerome, pick up the phone, Rio. Wednesday, the BYU men's basketball team bounced back from a 26-point loss to USC with a 74-68 win against St. John's. And very few teams get beat like we did last night and then have a big time game 24 hours later and come out and have the toughness to gut it out. But these guys did, and I'm, I'm, I couldn't be prouder of them. Prouder of them. BYU was led by a 20-point performance from senior captain Alex Barcelo, who had one turnover in 36 minutes. You know, the leaders on this team, they, they stepped up, they brought it, and uh, we knew that not everything was going to go how we wanted throughout the entire game, but we just got to move on to the next play. You know, Alex Barcelo tonight just made every right play. He was 8 for 11. He, he, he just set out to play the game the right way in an aggressive, really intelligent fashion, come what may. The amazing story of Gideon George continues to unfold. A couple of years ago, he was back home in Nigeria, sleeping outside, no power, no running water. A couple of years later, he's at BYU, pulling down 15 rebounds and scoring 13 points and helping the Cougars to a big win. I'm playing the game I love, and for the coaching staff to trust in me, it's something like, it's like big time to me, and them believing in me, coming off the bench, and doing what I do and then like having confidence in me that's what uh, been triggering me all this while. He's, he's so capable of guarding so many different positions um, defensively. He had the toughest defensive assignment for a bunch of a, bu a bulk of his minutes on the floor. Uh, he's playing two positions for us right now the three and the four which is which is super unfair on my part it's just we need him to do that. Um, and, and he makes some of the greatest Nigerian food you ever taste. <laughs> so I can keep going. I mean, that young, he's an unbelievable young man, and he, he sure put on a show tonight. I'm super proud of him. That is so yeah, good. Dude. That is so good. You won us this game today, man. And hey, you won us this game. Next up for the 4-1 BYU Cougars, a date with rival Utah State in Logan this Saturday. Utah State head coach Craig Smith tested positive for COVID, so he will not be coaching the game. But BYU head coach Mark Pope expects the Aggies to be ready anyway. Uh, if he's not available to play uh, and, and we still get to play the game, I'm sure they're going to be uh, ready to go. I mean, they've been sitting on this game for a week, I think, or five days by the time we get there. So they've had plenty of prep time. and uh, They're a really, really good team, really talented team. So I'll sh I'm sure they'll, they'll perform great if, if, you know, if all that moves forward.